Hola, 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 chilaquiles, chilaquiles, chilaquiles. Hola, hola, hola. Vianey Rodriguez here in sunny South Texas, your resident Tex-Mex queen. And today, a dish rooted in both Mexican and Tex-Mex cooking that features the beloved tortilla and the beloved chiles. We're making chilaquiles. If you like what you're seeing and craving mas Tex-Mex, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Let's get cooking. So first, I'm gonna prepare the tortilla chips. What I wanna do to a skillet over medium high heat, crank this on, put our skillet. We're gonna add some vegetable oil because what we're gonna do is we're gonna fry tortillas until they're nice and crispy. That way they maintain their texture when we add them to the salsa roja. We want about an inch of oil. Get nice and hot because when we add the tortillas to the oil, we want that instant sizzle, that instant sear. That way the tortilla gets nice and crispy, but it doesn't soak up the oil. If you were to add a tortilla to the skillet when the oil was cold, it's just gonna suck up all that oil and you're gonna, you're gonna be left with a very oily tortilla. So while this is getting nice and hot, I'm gonna grab a stack of tortillas. Want one, two, three, four, five, six. Get a little stack of tortillas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice them into fours. We want little wedges of tortillas. So I'm gonna get my knife, come down in half, then I'll rotate it just a little bit, and we're gonna slice again. And you're left with these triangles, all the same shape. There's different methods of making chilaquiles. Some people do the thinner, some people do, they rip them. I like them like this because I feel like they maintain their crunchiness because I still want that bite from the tortilla, but I also want to taste the salsa. So I've added the oil to the skillet. I have it over medium high heat. Here's a quick tip to check to see if your oil is ready for you to add whatever you're gonna crisp in the skillet. You're gonna get your, the end of your wooden spoon, you're gonna put it in your skillet, and if the oil is nice and hot, it'll start to bubble around the edges of, our, of your wooden spoon. So this one looks like it's ready to go. I'm gonna fry my tortillas in batches because we don't wanna overcrowd the pan because if I were to add all the tortillas, I would drop the temperature of the oil, then the tortillas would soak up all that oil. I've got a baking sheet here lined with paper towels. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my salt right here. As soon as I take out my tortillas to drain, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit of salt just so we get that flavor. So here we go, we're gonna start adding our tortillas. You can see right away that sizzle, that's what you're looking for. We want our tortilla chips nice and crisp so they hold up to the salsa. So once you see that they've crisped up in the corners, I'm gonna give them a quick flip. And this happens pretty quickly if your oil is nice and hot. Let them cook just a few more minutes and then I'll slide them onto the baking sheet. And then I will just hit them with a little bit of salt. We want that nice little texture of the salt. When it comes out of the fryer and it's nice and hot, it'll pick up that salt. Okay, now we're gonna go in for another round of tortillas. The smell of frying tortillas reminds me of another one of my favorite recipes, migas. You can find that recipe here on the channel. Now our tortilla step is done. I'm gonna put those to the side and I'm gonna start making the salsa roja that we're gonna bathe our tortillas in. You are gonna need one onion. We're gonna need four Roma tomatoes. We're gonna come in with one clove of garlic and you're gonna need a little bit of chicken broth to help the blender move along. So I'm gonna dice all of this. We're gonna put it in our blender and we're gonna blend it up to make our salsa. Okay, I'm gonna start with the onion. I'm gonna remove the skin. And since we're adding it to the blender, we don't have to finely dice it. We're just gonna run our knives through it. So I'm gonna run my knife through the onion. Gonna move this to the side. We're gonna run our knife through these Roma tomatoes. I think I'm gonna quarter them just a little bit smaller. Put those to the side. Come in with our second. 
Okay, so we have our onions, our tomato. I'm gonna add one clove of garlic. For my garlic, it has this little skin in and I wanna remove the skin. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place it on the cutting board. With my knife, we're gonna come in and we're just using our wrist, we're going to hit it. And this releases the garlic from the skin. We're also gonna add a little spice to our chilaquiles. So for the salsa, I'm gonna use one jalapeno and I'm just gonna run my knife through it because we're gonna put it all in the blender and it's gonna all blend up nice and easy. Okay. Okay. Okay, for our salsa, we have our blender ready. We're gonna add a little bit of chicken broth to help the blender along. So we're gonna put in some broth. Then we're gonna come in with our jalapeno, add that to our blender. gonna follow it up with our onion and then our tomatoes. Okay, we're gonna add the lid and we're gonna blend it until it's nice and smooth. Okay, so our salsa is nice and blended. And now to add more flavor, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our blended salsa, we're gonna return it to the skillet that we fried our tortilla chips in, and we're gonna lightly fry our salsa. What this does is it intensifies the flavors of the tomatoes, it gives it that all day slow cooked flavor, but with very minimal time. Here we go. That's what you wanna hear. You really want the salsa to cook as soon as it hits the pan. Okay, gonna give it a quick stir and we're gonna let all those flavors melt together. It's gonna intensify the tomato, bring out the little hints of garlic and that's gonna just take our chilaquiles to the next level. I'm gonna let this cook for about three to five minutes and what you're looking for is the salsa to become a little thicker, a little intense, it'll become a little darker and then that's when you can return the chips back into the skillet. Okay, so my salsa's been cooking for about three to five minutes. You'll see that the salsa has become a little thicker, it's a lot darker and this is what I'm looking for. Now I'm gonna bring my tortillas back into the skillet and I'm gonna give them a quick stir. We don't want them to sit there too long because we don't want to get our tortillas soggy. I'm go in. Tortillas, and we're gonna start to coat them. You wanna be very gentle. You don't wanna break any of your tortillas. Then I'm going to, by the spoonful, bring my plate over and we're gonna start adding them to the plate. So our tortillas are covered, they're bathed in that salsa roja that we made in the blender. I'm gonna add a little to the top here. We've got crispy tortillas. This is perfect for breakfast, for brunch. If you wanna add some protein, like some shredded chicken, that would be amazing. A poached egg on here would be delicious. Okay, so we've got our chilaquiles rojos plated. We've got our crispy chips, our salsa roja. Now here comes the fun part. We're gonna top it with all the delicious toppings. And you can go nuts on this. This is your plate of chilaquiles. Add what you want, a fried egg, a piece of steak, some fajita would be amazing. But today, I'm gonna keep it super simple because I really wanna taste that salsa. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of guacamole. Just gonna add it to the side. We're gonna come in with some crema. So this is Mexican crema. It's not to be confused with sour cream. Mexican crema is thinner. It's more tart. It's got an agria little flavor, a little more sour than sour cream, and it's got a little kick of lime. So I'm gonna give it a quick stir before, and then I'm just going to drizzle. And chilaquiles con crema, it's like the perfect combination. You get that creaminess, but then you get the bite from the salsa. Okay, so we have guacamole, we have crema. I'm gonna come in with a little bit of queso fresco. 
So queso fresco doesn't melt. It's, it's a crumbly cheese and you can add it to tacos, you can add it to salsas, um, anything you like. So I'm just gonna get it in my hands and I'm just gonna crumble it. And we're just gonna start to add it to the top of our chilaquiles. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of freshness from our cilantro. And that's how we topped our chilaquiles. The results are delicious. So I hope you give it a try, our chilaquiles, for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Make sure you like and subscribe for more Tex-Mex goodness.